testing one two three four actually testing 2024 yeah i hope y'all could hear me well because that's this is what we got oh let's just get into the hair because i know it's eating i was like god what is it that I want to see on this year because clearly I don't even know what is it that I am ready for. Then I realized 2024 is not going to be my year. <laughs> hey family, God bless you all. My name is Cecilia in case you don't know me and welcome to my channel. Señor guía mami camina. Solo quiero hacer tu voluntad. As we all know, 2024 just started this is not a vlog this ain't no q a this is a sit down and chit chat with your girl Ifini. i wanted to make a video on what are the plans that i have or what is it that i want to see on 2024 so yeah so before we start let's just get into the hair because i know it's eating ain't it Hold on, where's the other? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Anyways, before I actually start, I would like for us to pray. So bear with me and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence at this moment. Give you thanks, glory, and honor for only you deserve it. Thank you, my God, because your will is being done and you're establishing your kingdom. And my God, as we prepare the way for you, Lord, I pray, my God, that our hearts can be open that you break us gracefully, my God, that you work with us, my God, and just do your perfect will, my God, in our lives. At this moment, I pray, Lord, that every single person that's watching this video can just receive a word from you, Lord, and that this year be different. This year is not, it don't become our year, but your year, thank you, God, that you are doing something amazing, and in your name we pray, amen. So y'all know I like to speak. I have my things written down. You know, as the year just got started, everybody make a plan on things that they want to succeed on this year. But for some reason, this year was really like different for me. At the end of 2023, I really couldn't come up with a vision board, something that I usually do every year. It was just something that it wasn't on my heart. And when I sat down and I tried to like make a goal, like a plan, like a vision board, it wasn't working and y'all i didn't have no answer i was like okay so what is it that we're gonna do on 2024 god because something wasn't clicking as you guys know um i like to put like god in the middle god as the center of everything so of course i prayed and i was like god what is it that i want to see on this year because clearly i don't even know what is it that i am ready for so I ended up coming with a vision board, but my vision board was more of like materialistic things. And I had no goals spiritually, and that concerned me a lot. Then I realized 2024 is not going to be my year. It's going to be the year of God. I believe that God is doing something greater. I believe that God wants to do something on this year that my eyes cannot comprehend it. I am not... I just can't imagine, but I know it's big. I know God is doing something. And I know God wants to work through me and with me. So this year is really going to be a, a year of transformation and delight. At the end of 2023, the month of December, God gave me one word. And it was delight. As you know, delight is finding pleasure on something that you do. So I asked the Holy Spirit, what do you mean by delight? And he said, I want you to delight in my presence. So I was like, okay, cool. We could do that. We could, you know, have a little Bible study, a little Holy Spirit date. But he was talking to me from a point of, I don't want you to do it for the aesthetic. I really want you to like go deeper and learn how to delight in my presence. Y'all, let me tell you, that has not been easy. As humans, as Christians, we, we tend to like, see god as a law that if you don't pray if you don't fast if you don't read your bible you're going to hell so you end up doing things as i am afraid of where i'm going to end up and not as i really want to develop a relationship with my father and that's where god that's why god told me i want you to delight 
and I know this word was for me, but I also know that I am not the only one. And that's why I have decided to sit down and make a video on what to expect on 2024. And that is delight in the presence of the Lord. But also he gave me another word that was transformation. Actually, he told me, I'm going to break you. Y'all, y'all not going to like this. But he said, I am looking forward for you to look more like me. For that, I had to break you. Because in our hearts, there are so many things that are not really pleasing before the eyes of the Lord. Jealousy, envy, um, gossiping, judging, all these things are not things that are going to help you. So when God said, I need to break you in my presence, was for him to bring something better. Of course, God is not going to break you and just leave you there. He's going to make you a whole new person, a whole new human being, and something better. He's going to come up with something so much better. So with that being said, in December, God spoke to me about 2024, but I didn't realize this was going to be the word of the year. And I know this may be something that he spoke in intimacy, but I have, I just know there is somebody out there that also needs this word. So delight and transformation. That is what we're going to be talking about on today's video. Like I have said, this year is not mine, but God. I'm looking forward to see God in everything that I do. He wants to establish his perfect will in your life. And sometimes his plans look a little different from ours. And that's when, we're, that's when we tend to like kind of back up because we still want our will to be done. But let me tell you something. You are either with God or against him. So this ain't no, I'm here and I'm there. You want God or you want your plans. So this year, God is looking forward for us to make up our minds and actually come into like he wants us to realize that if we are not with him, we are against him. So what is it that you really want to see? His will or your will that might have you end up somewhere where you don't really want to be. When you allow the will of God to be done in your life, that's when you start becoming selfless because it's not you anymore, but him. And let me tell you something that I heard on this one video not so not too long ago. The press the absence of God as main character is the presence presence of Satan as a ruler. So it's either God or Satan. What are we doing? As he told me the light in his presence, I really been I wonder what he meant. Because you know, God be saying something and then you think from your human nature and then automatically you think you have an answer, but it's not, that's not really what God meant. So you know, I've been studying the word the light and analyzing what it actually like what he meant carefully i've been thinking but i am sure part of it is seeing your relationship with god more than something you are doing in order for you to be saved he wants us to learn how to delight in him and learn how to do everything out of love a lot of us are christians and a lot of us serve at church and at some point you start doing it because it feels more of like an assignment than a delight and you have to understand that serving god wherever anywhere like you have to understand that it is a privilege it is a privilege for you to serve serve it is a privilege for me to be a worship leader it is a privilege for me to be a mentor it is a privilege for me to be a content creator you have to see every opportunity that god opens every door that god opens as a privilege because you don't really have to do it he is everything. We are nobody. And that humbles you. Wait, what? Wait. When you understand that what you are doing, it is a privilege. You start delighting on it. And you don't see it as an assignment only, but as an opportunity for you to serve the king of kings, the king of glory. Because you can serve here and there, this and that. But if you start losing sight, and then you start focusing on pleasing the eyes of man than the eyes of God, of our Lord, you're not delighted no more. You start feeling that pressure of, I have to do this this way in order for me to be okay with that person. You are not trying to make somebody happy. You're trying to please and move the heart of the Lord. And I came here to remind you that this is about him. This ain't about you. This ain't about what people around you may think. It's about pleasing the eyes of the Lord and delighting in his presence. And listen, it is so important for us to learn how to delight in the presence of the Lord. Because as we delight in him and as we blurt out the world, I promise you, he start giving you the desires of your heart 
as long as they are in the will of the Father. So, you know, as you learn how to like, you know, get closer to God, start like becoming, you know, develop a friendship with the Holy Spirit. That's what this is about. Develop a friendship with the Holy Spirit. He wants to be so close to you so that you may know his thoughts, so that you may know what he really wants from you. As you develop a friendship with the Holy Spirit, you don't start moving by emotions no more. You're moving by his spirit. You know what he wants. You know what he desires from you. So that's what he really wants on 2024 his will so many of us find the light only in worship and that's not the only weapon you got what about prayer what about fasting what about reading your bible it's about going deeper this year it's about not staying on like on top he wants you here and we're still here i'm here right now but i'm trying to get there you know so he don't want us here anymore he wants us to like go deeper and go deeper and go deeper yeah all right you guys the second word was transformation oh lord this word just be breaking me okay as we start glowing growing closer to the lord and you know as we start going deeper you start looking more like him but you also notice things that are not in god's liking you're like okay but god don't like when i do this and i'm still doing it you start noticing things about yourself that you didn't know before well, because you've been desiring God more and you've been delighting yourself in the presence of the Lord. And as you've been going deeper, you start seeing things that you didn't even know they were there. As you start looking more like Jesus, you also start noticing your fleshy flaws as well. And that's when we surrender it to God and allow his will to be done in that area of your life, too. Because there are moments where when we know that, okay, I'm, 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 I'm kind of judgy. Oh, I like doing this. I'm a liar. You kind of want to like back away from, no, stop. Don't, this year, no backsliding. You're going to remain there and you're going to be honest with God. And you're going to tell him, I don't know how, I don't know why I keep doing this. I don't know why I keep lying and you don't like liars. So when you start being honest with God, that's when his love comes in. And let me tell you something about the love of God. His love or overwhelms us. His love take over us. And his love is fire. And what the fire does? Consume. Mm -hmm. Because we are under his blood, there is no more condemnation. So please don't allow the devil to play you and let you know, make you think that you are not enough. That you are um, somebody who's not. Of course, we're not worth it. Of everything God be doing for us, but don't make him. Just don't let the don't let the devil play you. Please do not let the devil play your mind, because what he wants you to make, like what he wants you to believe, is that you're nobody and that God don't love you. And he sent his son to die on a cross for us. So because of his blood, there is no more condemnation. He got nothing to say. Please, he got kicked out of heaven. Let's just start with that. How about that? How about them apples? But let me just elaborate this revelation that I got not too long ago about the love of God. You know, God called us to do everything with love, but he also, like, he's love. He is pure love. Like, God is our friend. He's our father. He could be our judge. He's everything. We need everything we want and everything we could think of and more. So one of the things that I had to learn is that the love of God takes over. It surrounds us and he overwhelms us. So like when we start going deeper and we start feeling the love of God and we start noticing things about ourselves, there is like a fire in your heart that start cons like it just starts consuming everything. You know, everything is in your heart. From your heart, you speak. So whatever is in your heart, that's not ple like it don't please the Lord. His same fire consumes it. So you just got to come to God as you are and allow his will to be done. So, you know, his fire starts consuming and consuming until he removes it all. And you, you are being branded with the blood of Jesus and his fire. So as you are being branded and marked by fire, he's being con like he's consuming you. You can never be the same. I don't know nobody that's been consumed by fire and they still the same. I don't. When you have a real encounter with God, when God starts like transforming you, breaking you, like gracefully, you know, you're great. You're being gracefully broken. You can never be the same. His fire is doing everything that you ever need and anything that you can ever think of. He is like, he's doing something new in you. And that's when you become a new creature, a new human being. He do it all. Like he really does it all. 
It's all through him, for him, and by him. Y'all, the word of the year is transformation and delighting in the presence of the Lord. So now you understand why this is not my year. This is the year of the Lord. He's doing something. And I know he also wants to do it in your lives. So please let me know if this word was also for you. I can't wait to see what 2024 brings. Not nah, let me mm -mm. let me take that back. I cannot wait to see what God is going to do in 2024. The year don't bring nothing. My God does. So I pray that you have a 2024 where you learn how to delight and you learn how to let the will of God be done in your life. That you let God transform you and make the like just you know let Him come up with the best version of you because you haven't seen enough yet you haven't seen what he's able to do it you've seen just a little glimpse of heaven a little glimpse of his glory a little glimpse of hold on i got hair on my eyes a little glimpse of his presence but this year oh yeah we're preparing the way for the lord and every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that he is king of kings that he is yeshua hamashiach and i am just so excited to see what God is going to do in my life and your life. So I pray that the, if this word was for you, that you learn how to like hold it, how to take over it with so much authority and that you allow God to do his perfect will on 2024. So familiar, with that being said, let's pray. Close your eyes. Heavenly Father, oh, thank you. Thank you, my God, because I know it's you. I just know it's you. I know, my God, that you were the one placing the words in my mouth. I know that you were the one speaking, my God, to these people. I thank you, my God, for this family, for this community that are looking forward to please you, that are looking forward to just remain at your feet, my God, and hear you speak, my Lord. We want to move your heart this 2024. We want to be gracefully broken. We want to have a real transformation. We want to feel your fire consume us, my God. Brand us with your blood. Mark us with your fire, my, lo my Lord. We have a 2024 that we know it was only you. This is your year. My God, we get out the way, move, we move out, my Lord, so that you may do what only you are capable of doing. Lord, I refuse to have a 2024 where I am repeating a cycle, Lord. I pray that this year is different for me and that person watching this video. I thank you for everything that you are doing, my God, for everything that you that you already did and everything you're going to continue to do. Thank you, Lord, for this community. Thank you, my God, for everything. I just can say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And in your name we pray. We leave it all in your hands. And we bless you for everything that you had already done. But not only because of your hand, but also because of your heart. So I thank you, Lord, for your thoughts. Thank you for your love. Thank you for this word. In your name I pray. Amen. Y'all know what to do. Come and like, subscribe. Let me know. Share the video. Y'all know what to do. I love you guys. But God love us more. See you next time. Time. Aunque ande en valle de sombra y de muerte, no temeré porque contigo soy más fuerte. No, 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 no.